I had to film this. We're cleaning the truck up and getting all of our stuff out because I put this up here our first day selling juice. It's like a little cheat sheet. <laughs> oh, three years ago? Anyways, it's time for it to come off. gonna go in the scrapbook. Mom says she has a JK Juicy scrapbook. Well, she always refers to it as a scrapbook. It's just a box. It's official. The truck is for sale. Something that I thought we would have for a really long time and would, I don't know, I just never planned on selling it. But then when the idea and, and everything of the storefront came to be, it was like, okay, we gotta sell the truck. Now that we have to sell the truck, it just feels like the right thing to do. Um, Business-wise, why keep a hold of a truck that's in great condition and worth a good amount of money um, when we won't use it, you know? We're never gonna use it. It's a full-on kitchen. It has plumbing and electric and refrigerators and everything. Um, and that's why we're getting the storefront is because we need a bigger kitchen. So business-wise, it makes sense to, to get rid of it. Emotional-wise, um, obviously we love, we love this truck. It has been with us for three years. We took it from something that was just a weird ice cream truck to, to a great paint job, to an awesome, really well thought out floor plan and the big unit we love. I mean, we just really do, we love it so much. And basically we got to the thought process of selling it because it was like, okay, we're doing the storefront. What do we want to do with the truck? And I was like, well, what if we kind of renovated the truck into something that better served us for what we need, which would be just a point of a point of sale. So we were like, we'll keep the truck. We'll still take it to the farmer's markets and everything, but we'll use it just as a point of sale. We don't need the plumbing. We do need the electric, but we don't need all the plumbing and the big sinks. Let's take those out, put in just a big, tall standing refrigerator, put in some seating. Cause whenever we go to these events, we're normally hanging out for a while and maybe make it a little bit more cozy and welcoming kind of like a tiny house <laughs> um and then my dad said while we were thinking all of this through he was like well if you're gonna do that then you could just buy an empty step van that isn't already renovated and add in the things you need because it'll be it's fairly simple and I'm like oh yeah and he's like you could sell your car truck anyways we got to the conclusion of like we can sell the truck it is what it is on its own right now a great unit and somebody else could benefit from that like it's it's just it really is an awesome juice truck and I hate to let it go but it's the right decision um, it's kind of like we need to close one door to to fully open the next door so the truck is for sale guys it's like for sale actively right now originally I was just gonna post it like locally on Craigslist uh, but then a couple people saw that we were we were selling it through comments on YouTube and whatnot and it seems like a lot of you guys are interested in it um, and so then it's just a matter of transporting it to to you guys so I kind of was like, okay, I guess we'll we'll make it um, open to all of America, essentially. And then I was thinking about it, and I was like, oh, that actually would make me a lot happier for it to go to somebody, whether you follow the YouTube channel or not, but somebody that like also is going to use it as a juice truck and just will get the fullness out of it. And I hope it, I, whoever it goes to, I hope it serves you so well because it served us so well. And we really love it. I hate to see it go. It's time for it to find a new home and to bring a lot of joy to somebody else. Linked below is the Craigslist post for it and it has all the details. Um, I am including everything I can possibly think of. It's all the details that my local health department required um, in order for it to become a licensed kitchen, I'm going to include. Whoever the buyer is, it's their responsibility to um, make sure that it meets local health department regulations and to get it approved and everything. I'm not a food truck builder you know what I mean this just happens to be the truck and we're selling it and um, it's being sold as is I'm not gonna add anything or remove anything from it um, it's just you might you'll probably have to make some modifications or maybe you won't I don't know depending on your local health department but it as is is being sold just like that some little notes it's a Chevy P30 it's got hundred and seventy nine thousand miles on it it runs really really well guys mechanically is probably one of the biggest questions aside from just like the obvious equipment and the layout of it but mechanically um, when I got it three years ago, it was running great. It starts right up. Cruises at 55 beautifully. Um, I kind of babied it our, our entire time owning it. Um, 
anytime there was a problem, I took it to my mechanic immediately and was like, fix it, what's wrong with it? And was just a little obsessive about like, we have to keep it in amazing condition all the time. I don't want anything to wear or tear. Um, I was a little obsessive. With that said, like any old vehicle is gonna have problems. Things are gonna break, blah, 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 blah. Recently it has a whole new like power steering, junk -um I'm gonna list all the stuff that I had done to it over the past three years so you know what's been replaced and what's been um, updated. Also, what's so cool about it is it's so short. For the bumper, it's 17 feet, and I've heard that they don't make this size anymore. You know, it's so easy to drive. It's easy to find parking spaces for. I've parallel parked it. Like, it is a breeze to drive, and, and since it's so small, you kind of avoid a lot of the problems that food truckers have as far as like trying to drive and park and figure out where you're gonna go. And if you're in a crowded city, that can be really helpful. So I, I would love to know more of the details as far as do they make this size anymore, but I, I've been told by a couple people that they don't. It has this external speaker system that that is really fun. I will say that sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't work. We never used it. Um, very rarely I would just like play with it and test it. We didn't use it regularly though. So I don't know the if if it'll work all the time basically. <laughs> One of the biggest questions you guys probably have is equipment. Everything that's like bolted to the truck is with it. So you'll see we got the water pump and obviously the water tank and then this is the produce wash sink which our health department requires an air gap in the plumbing so if there's any um you know backflow of water that it kind of overflows with the gap it's just something a lot of health departments require um and then we have the huge unit which has shelving and the hand wash sink is is what that's classified as in our like blueprint essentially and then the huge refrigerator this unit they don't make it anymore it's by stanley but um right when i got it three years ago i had it the free on recharged so it runs ice cold. Um, it's a really great refrigerator. This unit, I've had people message me and say, hey, can I just buy that giant unit off of you? Um, it's a great unit, it really is. And it's got the huge backsplash, so any kind of like splashing or spills, it catches it really well. Here in the back, it's got the garage door type of opening, so that opens all the way up. And this is how you can service and get to the next refrigerator, which is just a nice display refrigerator. Also NSF approved, um, just like the big Stanley unit. This runs cold. Now sometimes if it's really, really hot, it, it will run like a little bit above green. So you might wanna have this recharged just with Freon. Um, any kind of refrigeration company can do that. And it's, it's cheap, it's not a lot of money to do. And then it'll run super duper cold. So it just hasn't been charged for a while hasn't had the freon added to it in a while but it still runs cold i mean if you're at your normal anywhere between you know 40 and um 75 degrees outside it'll run good now when you get up to like the 85 90 95 um it still is cold in there but it's not like you're super ice cold 34 degrees if ever it was not super cold we would just move our juice over to the bigger fridge at the giant display window with the shelf underneath and then we've got the big three bay sink um, with the water heater underneath. That's everything it comes with. It's not coming with any of our juicers. I will say if you want the Zumex juicer, centrifugal juicer, I bought that for I think around 2000. Now over its years it has had kind of a rough life. It took a tumble once. It's not in great condition. I would say it's in fair condition. Um, but I could probably sell it on eBay for like $500 maybe so if you want it I'll include it for like let's say 100 bucks and on the outside it's got the big speaker system all the lights work really well um, like I said bumper to bumper it's 17 feet doors are sliding they lock really easily windows also easy and lock got this little like ledge thing to hang your menu on and then the huge window display window dealio um, and then around back we've got this, this was our generator rack holder, um, but you could use it to hold anything, whether I don't, whatever generator you um, plan on using. I don't know if it'll fit on here, but if it does or it doesn't, uh, this is just good to hold anything. It's really strong. It's welded to the truck. Um, it's a great little extra holding storage space for whatever you may need it for. In the, we call this like the lobby, you have your Passenger seat with your seatbelt, everything. That chair is actually more comfortable than the driver's seat chair. Um, sliding door, that locks. So this uh, totally locks. So if somebody got into your cargo area, then they would have to know how to also open the lock to your main area. So something kind of a nice little closing door that does come in handy. 
It's got the driver seat, which we put a little black cover on. That'll stay, it'll come like that. Easy to drive. I mean, it, there's nothing there's nothing confusing about it. It's just put it in drive and, and drive. Put it in reverse and drive. It's all automatic. Um, like I said, it just it cruises at 55. So easy. It's not, you would think it's like, ah, scary, intimidating, complicating. It's not at all. And they've got lots of shelf space. So you got little little storage, little uh, table here, table up there, lots of shelf space. And we, we loaded this thing, this, we called this the lobby, but we loaded it full. Find a great mechanic and, and you'll be cruising easy. We had such a great mechanic. And I think that's one of the main things with the food truck is, um, to, to just to find a good mechanic because when something when something goes wrong you just want to make sure you have somebody you can go to really really good oh my gosh one of the other things is i this is one of the main things i've talked to food truckers about and their trucks are all pretty big and they have a hard time finding a mechanic that will work on them because they can't get them up lifted um because they're just too big so this we just went to our normal local mechanic well, if it was a bigger truck, he might not have been able to get it kind of jacked up. And what is that called? Like a lifter? I don't know what it's called. Up on the thing. I'm so sad to see it go, but I also am so like happy. You know what I mean? The fact that I can like release of it for happy reasons for myself because we're upgrading and also that it can go to somebody and just, I hope brings so much joy to you. The idea of opening a juice business is like daunting and it's intimidating. And when you have the right like vessel to operate your business and it makes it a completely different different story i hope this truck whoever it goes to i don't even care if you make juice in it if you make smoothies if you do ice cream if you do coffee um whatever you do i just hope it brings so much joy to you and it really is the perfect truck for your business below is an email to contact me if you're interested in it it's the email associated with this youtube account so and i get notifications on that email really quickly and i'm able to navigate it pretty well so if you have any questions please send me an email and i'll get back to you as soon as possible um and whatever information or questions you have please don't hesitate to ask i was in your position three years ago shopping for a truck and um it makes it a lot easier when you have all the information you need and can do it confidently and know that you're making the right choice. So it'll come to you just like this. We're going to take off our logo, <laughs> but um, that's our truck. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.